What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you the command uptime. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to talk about a simple command. It's called uptime. Uh, uptime is a good command you need to know uh, if you're trying to get into uh, Linux systems administration. Uh, I was reading through a couple of articles online and I ran across the command and this command I use pretty much uh, all the time on my Linux server. Uh, just looking at the uptime of the system and just to explain what it is it simply gives you the amount of time that the system has been on as well as some more information uh the number of users as well as running sessions um and the system load so this will be a very short video i'm gonna go on and get right to it uh by showing you guys how to actually use it so first thing i want to do is go to the man page and the command to do that is man uptime. And it may or may not have a man page. Yes, it does. Okay, so uptime tells how long the system has been running. Uh, this is the synopsis, uptime, and then the options. Uh, uptimes gives a one line display of the following information the current time, how long the system has been running, how many users are currently logged on, and the system load average for the past one, five, and 15 minutes. This is the same information contained in the header line displayed by W1. Uh, system load average is the average number of processes that are either in a runnable or uninterruptible state. Uh, a process is in a runnable state is either using a CPU or waiting to use the CPU. So that's all I wanted to read, but let me get down to the options. Uh, it's a few options for it. They have a, a dash P for pretty. It shows uptime in a pretty format. Then they have the help uh, and then the sense. Uh, system use sense in year, month, day, hour, minute, second format. Uh, and the version, which is dash V. So it's not that many options, so this video will be a little short. So let me go down and quit this and show you guys how to actually use it. So let me clear my command line and actually show you what happens when you run a command uh, by itself. So if we type uh, uptime and press enter. So the first thing it shows is the current time that I ran this command. So it's currently 1549 when I ran it. Uh, and then it says that it's been up for 12 days as well as 17 hours and 49 seconds. And then as you can see, only one user is accessing the computer at this time. And this is the load average. And from when we looked in the man page, it shows the load average at the past one minute mark, past five minute mark and the past 15 minute mark. So that's pretty much all the information it shows you is some good information to know. You know, if you're managing Linux servers, I mean, this is a great command to actually understand. And I'm not sure if it's in the Linux Plus certification, but uh, this is just one of the commands that can help you. And just to use a couple more options, there is another command I like to use, uh, and that's actually uptime uh, dash P. And this will break down the amount of time that it has been up. So one week, five days, 17 hours, 51 minutes. So that breaks it all the way down for you. And it's basically breaking down everything that's up here. Uh, you know, breaking it out uh, by how many weeks, how many days, how many hours and how many minutes. So that's just another way of looking at the time that the system has been up. And let's say we want to just look at the date and time since the system has been running. We can use the S option. So if we type uh, uptime and then dash S, that will give us the date and time when the system was actually turned on and running. And as you can see, I turned on my computer. This was April 13th, uh, 2020. I think I did a reboot. Uh, some updates or something. So this will reset every single time you boot up the system. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys this command because I ran across it on a website and I thought it would be important to show you guys. Like I said, I use this command a whole lot. 
I just never thought to do a video on it. So I wanted to go on and show you guys this command. Uh, if you didn't know that it was there, uh, now you know. Uh, just check it out for yourself, run a couple commands, just see how it works. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And of course, keep it techie.